It's the first time in history that India has crossed $400 billion in merchandise exports. If this was a movie like the Kashmir Files, it would be called a Make in India blockbuster. truly a day of celebration, not for me or for the government. It's a celebration for the people of India. It's a celebration for every single individual in this country. Because today we are showing to the world that despite all adversities, whether it was the COVID second wave between April and June of 2021, the first quarter, the Omicron wave, December, January, earlier, uh, some time back, whether it's the war uh, between Ukraine and Russia and the associated sanctions and all the, all the disturbances that the world has seen, the world is facing, that India has experienced. India is facing such challenging times. So many times we had cyclones in different parts of the country, whether western part or eastern part. Despite all of these difficulties, it is a true testimony to the sheer grit, determination, self-confidence, and the capabilities of our young entrepreneurs, of our farmers, our exporters, our, our MSME sector, small and medium industries, our tiny industries, our handlooms, our uh, handicraft sector, the dairy sector, it's a collective show of strength that India can do it, we have done it, and we will continue to excel. It's the first time in history that India has crossed $400 billion in merchandise exports. If this was a movie like the Kashmir Files, it would be called a Make in India blockbuster. It's also a very important milestone in our journey towards Atmanirbhar Bharat, a country which is self-confident, which provides for its needs, where people respect domestically made products, but we are able to work with the rest of the world from a position of strength. We are able to take on challenges of all sorts, compete on our quality, compete on the strength of our uh, innovative products that we make, compete on the strength of our farmers who toil day and night to produce some truly exotic and wonderful fruits, vegetables, horticulture products, our fishermen who go out into the sea and uh, catch uh, very, very important uh, export products. It's, it's truly a time for all of us to reflect on our strengths, our capabilities, and the future. I think we owe this $400 billion success story to the countless hours spent by everybody in Team India, as Mr. Sarangi rightly pointed out. It's truly a collective effort. We broke every silo within the government and within government and industry, between government and industry, or between government and stakeholders like exporters, logistics providers, our missions abroad. All silos were broken. And collectively, everybody worked to a common purpose. I must thank all the banks who also made it possible to have adequate financing to the insurance companies,
to the various ambassadors or high commissioners, all the missions all over the world, who also became a part of this success story, the part of this journey. So you, you had missions literally going out to canvas for business for India. You had missions going out to explore new opportunities for entrepreneurs, our MSMEs, for our farmers, agriculturists. And with this collective effort, which was driven with, with the inspirational leadership of Prime Minister Modi. After all, I have yet to hear of any Prime Minister focus on something like exports ever before. But he took this as a personal commitment. He took this as a challenge. He inspired all of us within the government. He motivated industry and all the other stakeholders. And when he gave the clarion call that India will cross $400 billion of merchandise exports,